Hi guys, this is Gabby House. I am a second lieutenant in the United States Army. My branch is field artillery. So, I am going to share with you guys the first two weeks of Bullock. Bullock stands for Basic Officer Leadership Course. And it is the starting course that you take right after you commission um, or graduate from college and commission into the United States Army. It's our training course. It teaches us the basics to what we need to know in order to lead and empower soldiers. So, with that being said, today I want to talk about the first two weeks. So, the first week for us is probably going to look different than everybody after us. Because, let's be real, 2020 was a crazy year. And so, COVID hit. And COVID has still affected what it looks like here. And so, we did go on a 10-day 10 10-day 10 quarantine. We got checked for COVID twice. Um, we did the na nasal swab thing. That was not fun. But it wasn't as bad as I thought either. So, hey, take it as it is. Um, but we had 10 days where we were stuck inside our room. The nice thing about that is we got to get set up and kind of settle into Lawton, Oklahoma before we started. Mind you, um, and kind of get a workout plan. Started to think about our workouts and budgeting and stuff like that that you didn't really think about beforehand. Um, but mind you, that's probably not going to be your case, especially if you're the year after or a year later or a few years from now. Um, most likely, you're going to just start. So that first week, like I said, was all in, for us was just quarantining. A couple things I want to hit in this video is I want to talk about some things that might be good to think about before you get here. Um, and talk about some things that you should probably bring or that I highly suggest you bringing. And then I'll talk about that first week of in-processing. So first and foremost is what are some things that you should probably do before you get here? First and foremost, think about a budget. Start making a budget. Don't waste your money. I'm going to work on spending $30 a week on fun things like going on adventures. That's, I call it my adventure and my food fund. Um, ideally, don't go to a restaurant every week. You could afford it if you really want to, but I would suggest saving your money. Save it, get a car, um, or something else. Don't just buy a car immediately, though. Please don't do that. Wait till you graduate. Um, but save your money for something bigger. I would wait. I would save it, save it, save it. Because you're going to need to pay off loans, especially if you're on student loans. Um... So that's the first thing. Think about a budget. Second thing is think about a PT plan. I would already be thinking, what are the things you want to focus on on PT? And if you can, start making a list of workouts um, or a list of exercises that hit certain muscle groups. So then the times you go to the gym, you're not just standing around like, I don't know what I'm doing. Have a plan. Um, find a plan. There's plenty of plans out there. Mind you, I don't know them all. I created my own plan and I'll get more into PT later. Third thing is, um, yeah, just think about why, okay, yes, this is another one. Think about why you're there. Why do you want to be a field artillery second lieutenant officer? Why are you in the army? Think about your why. Make a, make a, what is it? Make a, um, essay called My Why. It's something we do in education is we talk about the reason why we teach because let's be real as an educator you have hard days kids make you cry kids are rough sometimes kids are amazing but they're also rough same goes with soldiers same goes with just the military in general it is a tough world there are times it's tough um there are times it's amazing and it's awesome and it's rewarding but there's also times it's tough you need to know why you're doing it because there are times when you will not want to do it and you will want to give up and you need to go back and think about why am i here why is this important for me personally it's because i want to empower i want to lead i want to love i want to pray for and i want to do everything i can to build up the soldiers that go out and they are the people that people look up to in our civilization and so our society i really love soldiers and that's why i do it is for them um so those are some things i would think about before you get here is think about budgeting think about pt plans think about um what was the other thing oh yeah think about your why so those are the th three things i would think about beforehand there are other things too but those are the things I would really think about. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to get into was what are some things you should bring? So 
I'm actually going to probably put a list in the description about the different things that I have found useful to bring, but the main categories of things that you need to bring are office supplies. Within office supplies, a printer, 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 printer. Bring a printer and bring way too much ink. You're going to use it. Um, I have an Epson printer and I legit have already, it's second weekend, I've legit already gone through two cartridges of um, black ink and one cartridge of maroon scion and um whatever the other one is like you're gonna go you're gonna go through your ink um same with paper bring plenty of paper so printer's a big one another thing in office supplies is um anything basic that you could think of like all your markers your highlighters your mechanical pencils your expo markers your um permanent markers fine tip super fine tip for maps um Ooh, post-it notes. If you're a teacher, you already know this. Post-it notes save your life. Um, anyway, have post-it notes. Always have them around. You can use them for so many things. They're so helpful. Um, staplers, hole punchers, computer. You're gonna need some sort of laptop, um, or iPad, or something that you can take notes on and you can do your homework on. Write op orders on specifically. That's something also you should probably, going back to what you should do beforehand, go research your TLPs and your op orders. Um, re refresh on those. Make sure you know what the five paragraphs are. Make sure you know your basic TRPs. Other thing is make sure you know like your movement drills and your, um, and yeah, so I said, I mean TLPs, but also make sure you know your PRTs for PT. Make sure you know how to stretch and know all the different drills so you actually feel confident when you go up in front of the platoon. Um, so that's some stuff you should bring. Other things is past office supplies is some sort of thing that are entertainment because otherwise you're just going to go out all the time and you just don't have the time for that and it's just not wise to always go out and so have things for entertainment books if you're really into video games bring a video game that's not going to be such a distraction to you um but you know you can play here and there whenever you're bored um or not bored but need a moment to rest um netflix just be careful with it you know how it is um, we all know how it is, let's be real. Um, a DVD system, if you're really into movies, which I am. Um, and bring your favorite movies, like, through your favorite movies, three to five, that you're like, oh my goodness, I can't live without this movie. Which, for me, it's like, Instant Family, Wonder, um, what was the other one I brought? Shazam. Now, mind you, I have more, too, but those are three of my favorites. Um, and so, stuff like that. Something fun that's gonna be relaxing on those times when you're worn out and you need some time to just breathe. Um, third thing is bring some comfort items. For me is I brought a pillow and I brought my dinosaur that my boyfriend gave me. Um, and I brought like my Bible and I brought a notebook or a journal that I can write in. Those things for me are comfort, comfort items. I love them and they just, I don't know, they make me feel more comfortable. I'm more like I'm at home. Another thing is bring a little bit of kitchen supplies, like forks, spoons, bowls, just basic, basic stuff. Not a lot, just a little bit, because all you can do is wash it in your sink in your bathroom. But you're going to want it, because most likely you're going to want to keep some food here at the hotel. And you have a um, you have a microwave and a fridge. And so I would bring some food, just because then otherwise you're going to go out all the time and eat. Um, eat out, and that's just expensive. And going back to the budget, be smart. Think about that. Um, so those are some things that you should bring. Uniforms, make sure you have t or three to four of your camouflage uniforms and then your uh, AGSUs and your three to four of your PTs. Tennis shoes, boots, um, and then some casual, casual wear stuff. You're going to have weekends off, Saturdays and Sundays, unless you're retesting on Sundays or Saturdays, I mean. And you're going to have afternoons off for the most part or evenings really um so you're not going to want to work out in your pt or in your pt clothes all the time so bring workout clothes bring some fun clothes for going out with your friends um bring some clothes for church if you're into that um bring some clothes for um just casual wear so think about that bring a jacket too because your rooms can get cold your rooms can get weird um so yeah that are some tips and trips of what to bring I'm sure there's more, but those are some things that I think are really helpful. A laminator. If you're a teacher, you know how awesome laminators are. Bring a laminator. 
and get the good lamination paper. Get the scotch stuff. If you get the other stuff, like the great value stuff, I'm telling you, it laminates so weird. Don't do it. Get the nice stuff. It's worth it. It's more expensive, but it doesn't, like, get all messed up in the laminator. So, anyway, I'll leave a list down below for more for, you know, what you should bring. So, again, things that you should have done before, now things you should bring. And the third thing is what did in-processing look like? So, quick background is once you graduate, you're no longer, your CAT card expires. Um, and so your CAT card is your ID card in the military. And on it, as a cadet, it says E5, which stands for sergeant. Now, mind you, we're not really sergeants. We're cadets. Um, and so anyway, your CAT card expires, and so you can no longer really use it. So don't, here's my tip, don't immediately try and get that renewed to go get your second lieutenant one because you could have the potential problem that I did where they actually took my CAT card away. And so I've been at Bullock for two weeks now without a CAC. Um, during in processing, they're going to get your information and they're going to find out who whose CAT card is expired. Um, and they're going to then help us get new CAC cards the second to third week you're in at Bullock. So you're going to get a new CAC at Bullock that's not expired. I would wait to try to get your new CAC till you get to Bullock. Don't do it before Bullock because they could take your CAC away. And then that just makes it really hard to get on and off base. And it makes it hard to go to the DFAC and it makes it hard to go to the gym. Like, just don't do it. You can use your orders, but um, I've had issues and so just don't do it. Wait till you get to Bullock. They will help you change it. Unless your orders say otherwise. Then follow your orders. Your orders are your Bible. Um, so... Yes, yeah, so anyway, in processing was this whole week, and we started with doing things like basic paperwork. You can have a lot of paperwork. Don't be intimidated. It's okay. And if you don't have your CAC and you're like, I can't get into anything, or my CAC doesn't work, the registration's out, out don't stress out. They know, um, and they're going to get you squared away. So don't freak out too badly. Um, another tip is you're probably not going to be paid until 45, up to 45 days, sometimes less. For us, it took two weeks. Um, I just got paid this Friday. I've been here for two weeks, though. Um, and so, don't freak out if you don't get paid immediately. But that with in mind is you probably want to keep some money aside if you have the ability to. If you don't, it's okay. Go eat at the um, go eat at the DFAC. You can make it two weeks without spending money. Um, just get rides, walk around base, uh, stay on base, and wait till you get paid to start trying to spend money. Um, and even then, go back to budgeting. Budget, 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 budget. It's gonna help you so much. Um. So yeah. Anyway. Um, we did paperwork like that. We did a bunch of different paperwork. So you're going to have to be doing that. And then you're going to do your medical and your dental. Um, so make sure you have your medical records, especially your shot records. Keep your shot records. Put them in your I Love Me book. Print them out. Make copies of every sort of document that you get from either ROTC or OCS. Um, like all the different DD forms that they give you. Make double copies of them. In fact, you can make a digital copy. Like make sure you have multiple copies of everything. Um, or have a printer where you can print multiple copies. Because you don't want to ever give them your original copy. Always keep the original. Um, and then... Yeah, then you go to medical and dental. If you have dental records, keep them. If you don't, that's how it is. Um, and then that is about all the week held for us. We did a couple classes and talked about op orders. We're going to have an op order project um, where we're going to work in a group and we're going to make a legit op order. Uh, this first weekend, we even had homework this first weekend, and they gave us a fun scenario, and we had to make a um, op order about it. And... Um, just don't complain when it comes to like getting homework that you just think is silly and too much extra work just have fun with it especially you know just have fun um play the game you real you're gonna have to but and then we read an article about um russia and how they have hacked into our cell phones um and that was interesting and we had to take notes and we're gonna talk about it on monday talk about like uh what our thoughts were and I really thought that was kind of neat because I like to, I love to see, I really need help. That's something I struggle with is seeing, being able to, uh, current events, falling on current events, 
part of it is because I was a teacher last year and I just couldn't keep up with anything. I was constantly building lesson plans, which I loved. No complaint. Um, yeah. So that is pretty much the biggest thing that happened this week. So another thing to think about um, that I would love to tell you guys about is leadership roles. So you're going to have the opportunity to step into leadership roles. Now here's the deal. They don't really do anything for you other than a pat on the back saying good job. And they give you some opportunities to lead. You're not going to really get anything for them. So if it's just going to hinder you from being able to study and you know it's going to be too much, don't take them. Now, mind you, if you can handle it and you want the challenge, go for it. Um, So you're going to have the class leader. What I would suggest, I don't know if this is possible, but I suggest is if you are the class leader, ask for somebody else to be your, like, um, your first sergeant. Like, ask somebody to be a part of helping you. Like, get get a helper. Um, Delegate. Delegate, delegate, delegate. You should know that in general. But delegate things. Uh, And then you'll be able to choose. You could be a platoon leader if you want to. Or you could be the S1 for the class. Or for the entire class. Um, Or you could be the S1 for your platoon. You could be a squad leader. Or you could be the PT officer. I'm the PT officer. Long story short, what that means is I make PT plans for our platoon. And we execute them. So, I'm going to give you a little background about what our PT looks like. So, you could use this. You could do some, something totally different. Do what you want. Um, how we set it up, though, is we do cardio on Mondays, but not like four-mile runs, like intervals. On Tuesdays, we do ACFT workouts, like circuits. Wednesdays, we do squad competitions, and we do squad PT. Uh Why we do this is our platoon really, really wanted some ways to do team building. I would really suggest doing some sort of team building just because it's going to build morale. Um, And it could be fun and it could be challenging. Do squad stuff. Do, like, competition stuff. And then we we do ACFTs on Thursday. ACFT, like, circuits again. And then we do longer runs on Fridays. So that's how we set it up. I do like this method because you can really play around with the cardio on Mondays and do something unique and fun, especially if you have a running background. Um, and then on Wednesdays, the squat stuff's so fun. The circuits can be a blast on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You don't have to do just ACFT workout like exercises. Look up exercises that complement the ACFT workout exercises and use that stuff too. Um, and do like six exercises, break your platoon up into groups of four and then have them like rotate and um like every minute rotate or something and give them a 30 second break or something that's what we did the first tuesday and it was a lot of fun and it was very challenging and then on fridays doing a long run endurance is going to be hard for people especially if they just they're not runners and so building endurance is going to be really important. And one thing to help build endurance is sprints. So what you do is you do a longer run and then afterwards you do a number of sprints. Um, sprints and then a jog back. Sprint, jog back. Um, and that really build, builds your endurance. So that was a lot of information. That was fire hose, which is what you're going to get when you go to Bullock. Um, so anyway... Long story short, is I will tell you more as more comes. I'll give you all the tips and tricks. I'll probably miss plenty of things too. If you have questions about anything I've said or you want to know something totally different that I forgot to mention or didn't didn't mention, um, please put a comment below. Um, Yeah. Oh, one more thing I would love to mention is I did get plugged into a church my first Sunday here. I did online church at first because let's be real COVID. Um, and so I did online church and I found the church Grace Fellowship. So I've been at Grace Fellowship now. This is my third weekend at Grace Fellowship and it is a excellent church if you need a church to go to. They're very military orientated. Um, they have three different services, one at eight, one at 10, and one at um, 1130. So pick your poison. And then They have life groups. In life groups, you kind of get in contact and you can meet with a little group of people on a certain day, certain time. Um, And so anyway, if you're looking for a church, I love it. It's been a great church. And I went to a Wednesday life group last week online. Um, It was a Zoom life group and that was great. That was really fun. And then I went to one on Saturday at 2 p.m. 
and it was a home life group and it was an in-person one and that one was a blast. So anyway, the life groups are awesome there. And then the chaplain typically does things too. And what I love is the chaplain's focus has been on leadership and what it looks like to be a good leader. Um, and lead as a servant leader, lead as Christ um, leads. And what we've done, oh, it's been a blast, which you could steal this idea. But as we do a Bible study, and then at 7 we start a movie. And so we watch a movie, we eat dinner, watch a movie, and then after the movie we talk about it. And we talk about the leadership attributes and the things we've learned from the movie. And so anyway, that was a blast. First night we watched um, Blindside. The next Friday we watched... Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it was so good. And it was about, like, the trial. It's based off a true story. And they it's a military movie, and it's about Code Red. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments. I can't remember what it's called. It's a good something. Anyway, it was so fun to watch and talk about, and I learned so much from it. And so, anyway, those are some suggestions. Those are some tips. Those are some things to think about. Um, remember the company you keep makes you are you reflect the closest five people that are close to you like the, the people you hang out with the most the five people that you hang out with the most is who you start to become so keep that in mind is who you decide to be, make your best friend and who you decide to stay the closest to you're going to start to take some of their habits um so be weary of what company you keep now mind you be kind to everybody get to know everybody they're all super cool um but Again, be wise with who you make your best friend. And that's just general, general tip for life. Um, yeah. Don't get into trouble. Have fun. Go have fun, but don't get into trouble. Find fun things to do that doesn't consist of trouble. Um, show people that there's fun without trouble. Because um, there is. So anyway, that's all I got. We went hiking a couple weekends back. And, um, that was a blast. We went to Buffalo, the Buffalo Trail. The trails here are so beautiful. Go on the trails. We're gonna go on the river a couple weeks from now and go wakeboarding and stuff. And it's like $10. It's so awesome. $10 an hour. And then the movies are fun. Go out to eat. Oh, ooh, one more thing. Study groups, study groups, study groups. Get plugged into a study group. Like, work together. Even if you're one of those people, I kind of am, where you don't really need to study with the people and you actually study really well on your own, go sit with other people and work with them. Like, just get to know your peers. Um, if they are a super big distraction, then go separate. But if you can work with your peers, work your peers, even if you don't need to. It's just good to work with other people. You're going to learn so much doing that. So, anyway, I've talked way too much. And I love you guys, and I hope that you have a fabulous Monday tomorrow, and that is all I got. Keep being amazing. Peace, guys.